Well, white cattle, you know, I'm a farm girl um, from heart. I grew up on a farm in South Africa and I've always wanted my own little piece of heaven. I've always wanted a piece of land where I can have a few calves and, and cows and to look after and um, eventually I'd like to have some horses on here as well. I think it's really peaceful, like I like coming home and um, after training and sometimes just sit and go, gosh, this is my own. Just the peacefulness and the fact that there's no noise around me and it's quiet and I just love the farm and it's my happy place. Go, baby. <laughs> the main thing is to have little priority jobs and make sure that you do a little bit every day instead of going home and go, gosh, I've got to do all of this. But I'm so used to it at the moment that I just go with the flow and I know, like, prioritise what I need to do. And if, if I don't do it today, I can just leave it for tomorrow. But I've just got to make sure I've got to put my feet up a little bit as well. And obviously having him um, making sure we have quality time together, but he understands when mummy needs a bit of a rest, he lies on the couch with me and we watch TV or something, so which is great. To be nosy. I think the most important thing about becoming a mum is you got somebody else relying heavily on you, as you know. In the past, I've tried too hard to be a really good netballer, and once Caleb came along, I kind of forget about that, and going to trainings and that was kind of my get a little bit of a break and I just started loving the game again and, and knowing that when, I, when I'm there I give it a full 100% when I get home I get a smiley face whether we win or lose which makes it fantastic and worthwhile. I, I still love it and um, I'm pretty sure I'm the hardest person on myself and I probably would go before everybody thinks it's time but as long as I enjoy it and I'm good enough I would like to stick around. Uh, I, d I can't really put a time frame on it um, but as, as long as the body and the mind is willing then I'll still be hanging around for a little bit. Well obviously I've got a passion for um, farming and um, I've got a marketing degree as well so hopefully I can put the two together. I'm passionate about teaching kids stuff, so hopefully I'll get into either a motivational or coaching side of things as well. Cannot see myself sitting in an office from eight till five. <laughs> I mean, I've got a lot of passion for a lot of things, so hopefully I can make a career out of one of them. <laughs>